Hello, hello, divine people, and happy Get Woke Wednesdays. Hey, you guys, guess what time it is? It is time for you to take responsibility, take accountability for your life. If you are here and this is your first time watching, hello, how are you, and welcome. If you are a returning divine, thank you so much. And by the way, if you're watching and you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell. Go ahead and hit it. I'll wait. No worries. I'll wait. You hit it? Okay, let's go. Today, we are going to be talking about how you can take responsibility, take accountability for your life. We should always be learning and growing mentally in life. I mean, isn't that right? We should always be learning, always be growing mentally in life. Just because we hit a certain age, we don't have to sit back and be like, okay, well, I'm at this age. What you see is what you get. Okay, so can you guys remember your last aha uh -huh moment? And I'm talking about that aha moment when it is something that you have heard continuously throughout your life, but you never really grasped, you never really understood the concept in its entirety until one day you did. And you were like, aha, I get it now. I truly get it. My brain has finally wrapped itself around this concept. Sometimes it's not that awesome, but if you are willing to grow and learn mentally, it should always be an awesome aha moment. I would love to give you your next aha moment. Are you guys ready? It is on taking responsibility for your life. It's not what you think it is. If you want to learn and know how you can take true ownership, true accountability, and true responsibility for your life, don't you dare click away because we're going to get back here and we're going to get real with it. Right here, right now on Got Me On Stish. Listen, you guys, life happens to everyone. You know those BS, unfair, unjust moments that happen in life? They happen to everyone. In fact, the Bible tells us that God reigns on the just and the unjust alike, which means that whether you are good, bad, or in between, you will go through some things in your life that are unfair, unjust, crappy, BS. So please hear this, divines. Your waist size, your gender, the color of your skin, your mental capacity, all of these things will be called into question, will be brought up by people. They will attack you for these things. Evil, ignorant people will bring these things into question. Evil, ignorant, stupid people will attack you. They will put you down. They will tell you no. They will tell you you can't do this or that. But you know what? There is beauty in it for you. You know why? Because you get to answer them. In other words, it is not about what happens to you in life, the things that you go through. What it is all about is how you react to it, the things that you do once you go through these inevitable crappy situations. That's what it means to take responsibility for your life. If you were to look at a recent failure that you had, uh, you were fired from your job, your car got repossessed, you couldn't land a job, or perhaps you found yourself in bed ridden with depression for days on end. Maybe you don't have money to go out and do something fun for once. Who do you blame for all of those things that I just list off? Who do you blame when bad things happen to you? When you run into unfortunate events, unfortunate situations, who is it that you blame? What do you blame on it? Because let me tell you, we can be so creative when we want to be, and I am not excluding myself. I am just as creative as you because I can blame my neighbors, the weather. I can blame my bank account. I can blame my loved ones. And I have been really good at feeling sorry for myself. I don't know if you've ever been there, but if you have, it's fine. It's a part of life. It's a part of growth. But listen, you have to get up and take responsibility for your life. It is a mindset, you guys. It is a wisdom-filled mentality. 
That's what taking responsibility for your life is. That's what accountability is. That's what true ownership of your life is all about. Because listen, there is so much beauty in it. Once you actually do take responsibility, 100% responsibility for your life, guess what? You get to create the life that you want. Because when you finally realize that you are where you are in life because of you, it is you who gets to change it. If you're waiting for your boss, if you're waiting for a loved one, if you're waiting for the weather to be sunny every day, I don't know. If you are waiting for somebody or someone else to change your life, to change your circumstances, you will be waiting forever. You know, it's so funny, Earl Nightingale, he's got a quote which says, all of us are self-made, but only the successful will admit it. You have some talents, some gifts, and some abilities that you are simply not utilizing right now. You need to tap into those. You need to hone in on them and refuse to die without having used them in this life. Because look, you are gonna need those gifts to walk into your greatness. And if you're somebody who doesn't really know right now what your special gifts, talents, or abilities are, it is okay. You just need to begin to search yourself within. Uh, you can ask trusted loved ones what they think that you are good at because maybe there's something that you don't even realize, you don't even recognize that you are very gifted and talented at, but somebody else sees it in you. So make sure that you're asking though, people that you trust, people that you love, people that you respect and honor their opinion. And listen, the reason being is because if you don't believe in yourself right now, like somebody else believes in you, why don't you borrow their belief until you believe it yourself? It works, it actually works. If they have a belief in you, borrow that belief and live and walk in their belief until you believe it yourself. You guys, I cannot stress enough how important perspective is. When you have a positive perspective in life, then positive things come to you in life. It is not a gimmick. It is not a drill. It is true facts. When you have a positive perspective, positive energy comes into your life. Now, consider this. Two men wake up one morning. One of the men looks outside his window and sees a rainstorm. He says to himself, wow, uh, it is a huge storm. What a storm. I really hope they don't expect me to go out and sell in this weather. There is no way. The other man, he looks out the window and he says, whoa, what a storm. Look at this storm. Oh my gosh, today is going to be the perfect day to go out and sell because everybody's going to be home, including the salesman. You guys, that is what perspective does for you. It creates positivity into your life. The reason you have to take responsibility for your life is because once you take responsibility for your life, you get to be the one to create your life. You plan your life and you follow through with your plans. Jim Rohn says this, if you don't design your own life plan, chances are you'll fall into somebody else's life plan for you. And guess what they have in store for you? Not much. Okay, you guys, I really hope you got something out of this today. If you did, give me a big like, like, comment, subscribe, share, do all of the above, or just one. Listen, share it though, because there's somebody on your friends list or your friend's friends list who needs to hear this message today, so share it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.